Hello everybody, I'm back again. Sorry for all the noise. I'm in my, my mining room where I do, it's the, only, the best place I have to make videos right now. Um, I'm gonna we'll show y'all today. This is how I manage to the heat in the summer with some of my more sensitive cards like your 3080s and 3090s. Um, I don't have any 3070 Ti's, but I would probably manage them the same way. It's really the GDR 6X memory. Um, that's really has the biggest issue. Um, you can look here That stuff like this where we're at 90 degrees on our VRAM 86 degrees on our VRAM um, And I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I've seen people online just shut down their rigs because it gets so hot And I've never really understood that um, To me it, you should just throttle everything back and I'll show you kind of how my setup is um, I'm going to show you mostly on my 30 RTX 3090 over here and this is on nice hash. Um, I know some people don't like nice hash, but honestly, it's very simple and easy for me to use. Um, that and uh, it's good to have some more videos about nice hash. So, y'all, if y'all have any any questions about that, I could make a video about that and my experiences on here. Um, so, essentially, this. If you look here for this RTX 3090, right now, uh, the, the temperature in the grow tent I have it in, it's about probably in the 90 degrees, 90, 92. Sometimes in, this, in the day it gets up to 107. But even this RTX 3090 um, throttled back, it gets to maybe 92, 94 degrees um, if I didn't throttle it. It'd probably get well over 100 if I didn't. So if you look down here, you can actually see what I did, and this may make people cringe, but I, I prefer the longevity of my cards and not to damage them and keep them cool. But I essentially put the memory at negative 500. Um, I still get up. Right now it's showing 91 mega hash. Usually I get about 100. I think right now it's a little bit lower because I'm remoted into this computer and it's probably using that card uh, capabilities to look at this. Some of the, some of these numbers they kind of go lower for some reason when I'm rubber remote in. But generally this card I get about 100 mega hash. Um, if I when it gets cooler in here in the winter, I'll ramp this up probably to 11 or 1200 or so and I'll be getting probably 120 or more mega hash, but To me you got to be making money and The biggest tip I can give you is if your cards are overheating don't shut them down um, At least make move your memory because you most of these cards you can put them at negative 1000 and you can still be making money on them and actually you can still be making pretty good Efficiency on some of them. The 3090s aren't the best for efficiency, but a lot of the 3080s you can do the same thing with this and essentially just save yourself the headache of killing your cards. Um, I prefer to keep my cards below uh, 94 degrees. That's just kind of where I, I'm at. Um, if I can keep the memory in the 80s on the 3090s and 3080s, that's just golden. And that's kind of just how I am on this. Um, but that's what I am on heat. And that's how I, I, I manage my heat on my cards. The uh, 3070s are probably my favorite card. Uh, 3060 Ti's also, depending on what price you can get them at. But I mean, you look at these right here. I mean, these are running probably 61 mega hash ish, and you're at 59 and 55, and your fans aren't even up to full speed. So I mean, they, they run very well. The 3070s do, no matter what heat. Um, I think some of the cards in my garage, I have eight 3070s. And it, it the feels like temperature in there is usually like 130, 140, and those those cards barely get above 60 degrees, and some of them the, the fans barely even run at that point. So the 3070s are really the way to go if you if you want to build out like a moderate farm for I guess house miners, uh, 3060 Ti's and 3070s are the way to go. Uh, but that's everything I had. Uh, if anybody sees this and wants and wants to me to go more into depth on any of the videos I go over. Uh, leave me a thumbs up, um, or I guess like the video, and go from there. If I don't really get any likes or any interest, I may not make any more of these videos. I'm, I'm more just kind of out there making them so the average person can get an idea of what's going on. But, okay, thank y'all very much.